kids welcome to another video this is for grade 5 module 2 lesson 16 homework and I would highly highly recommend you go watch the problem set video before you come watch the homework video the objective here is to use divide by 10 patterns for multi-digit whole number division and uh, the problem set video just has some great examples some really good notes to help you understand what you're doing and with these crazy place value discs that nobody ever uses in adult life um, you really should understand about it so you can do it correctly for the few that we have to use them for today so anyway in the directions it says divide draw place value discs to show your thinking for a and c only you may draw the discs on your personal whiteboard to solve the others if necessary but of course that's if you have a whiteboard or a scratch paper help yourself to that I won't be doing it because it just takes a lot of time and I think that the shortcut way that I talk about in my problem set video is much help more helpful than any place value discs ever could be so anyway uh, we're gonna get started with our discs for a so we have our 300 divided by 10 which is gonna be 300 discs with 100 in each one because 100 plus 100 plus 100 is 300 and then we're going to divide by 10 and so each time I divide 100 by 10 I get 10 here as well and here as well so we have a total of 30 and then for the shortcut way remember it's going to be 300 divided by 10 just like they have here but I'm going to show you that we have our offsetting zeros, 30 divided by one is 30. So this is kind of our, the new way that we're going. And then this is the way that they want you to conceptually show you understand what the numbers are made of. Uh, so for B, we don't have to make the discs. So you would just take your 450, just rewrite it so you can slash out and it's bigger and you don't have to uh, scramble for space. And so we have matching or offsetting zeros, one on each problem. So then that leaves you with 45 divided by one, which is 45. Super easy start to today's lesson. Thank you math people for making it easy in the beginning. Okay, but for C, we also have to make place value disks. And now instead of 300, I have 18,000. So do I have to do a whole bunch of Discs, well, you can create a 10,000 disc. Okay, and that takes the place of this one. And then I only need eight 1,000 discs, as if that really helps us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See what I mean by it takes a lot of time? 100 is your divisor, so everything gets divided by the 100. Now, when you divide 10,000 by 100, they have offsetting zeros, two here and two here. That leaves you with the 100 that's left. And we're going to have that in its own place value position. And then the 1,000 divided by 100 offsets with two zeros, which leaves you with 10, and that's going to have eight tens. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now this is your answer side. So if you have 100 plus the 10, sorry, the eight tens, then you've got 180 as your answer. And then if you wanna show it the new way, then you can take your 18,000, this is always cool, divided by 100, slash 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 that's two now it's 180 divided by one for 180. this is the classic way love that one okay let's move on and use the classic way 730,000 divided by 100 looking for offsetting or matching because it has to be the same on both sides two here therefore two here that's all now we're taking these away taking these away that leaves us with 7,300 divided by one, which leaves you 7,300. That's your answer. Easy peasy. Okay, taking 900,000 divided by 1,000. If you don't feel like rewriting it because it has too many zeros, then be very careful. One, two, three, one, two, three. That leaves you with 900 divided by one for 900. 
See how it gets easier and easier as you start understanding what's happening with the numbers. 680,000 divided by 1,000. Again, if I have at least um, matching zeros on both sides, I've got three here, three here. That leaves us with 680 divided by 1 for 680. That may be the fastest first page ever. Not to worry. We've got more stuff on the back. So this one says divide. The first one is done for you. They have a slightly different approach. So instead of just slashing the zeros, this time you get to identify what is the power of 10 that we're dealing with. So here, instead of dividing only by 10, I've got 20. So we're going to take the two out, but also notice how many zeros are, the, are on the divisor side. So you leave this here alone, leave your dividend because that's what you have to divide by or divide into, okay? So this is your total dividend. We're splitting up our divisor into two pieces. The first piece is going to be the reducing the number of zeros. So if you look at 18,000 divided by 10, they both have one zero. So then you're gonna get 1,800. Notice the next one. Then just copy that because you took it out and now we're gonna divide with it. 18 divided by two is nine and these zeros just come down. You just copy them. You can't forget about them because they are uh, holding those place value positions. So show that you can do it on this one. Notice that the, the dividend and divisor are mostly the same on, on these as we go down the page, but they just tweak it with a zero or two. So our first step is to take out however many zeros we can. And on this one, you can take your 18,000, don't change it. But what can we divide both sides by? Well, with this one has two zeros, not just one, but two. Then take the two out. Since we have two zeros, we can slash those out, which leaves us with 180. And we've done that, so bring down your two. Now that I have 180 divided by two, you know that 18 divided by two is nine, and you're gonna bring down that other zero, so our answer is 90. So this one was 900 because I had a bigger dividend. This one, I have a smaller dividend, but I still have the same divisor. Next one is 18,000 divided by 2,000, so I've got three zeros that I can potentially take out, divided by 1,000, then divided by two. So since I have the three zeros on both sides of the division sign, that leaves me with 18 divided, oh, sorry. Yeah, I was gonna put one, nope, we already did that, and then divided by two, which leaves you nine. Almost tried to make it harder than it is, okay? So you should have 90 for the B and then nine for C because they're giving you bigger divisors each time, which means your answer is gonna be a little bit simpler. Okay, let's go on to the next row where we've got 42 divided by six, which hopefully you know is seven. And so that's gonna be your basic fact that we work with. So first copy the 420,000 divided by, we know we're gonna get to the six, but how many tens? It's just one because it's one zero. Take off the one zero from uh, both sides right here Copy what's left, 42,000, so it's 42,000 instead of 420,000. Divided by six, here's your quick fact, 42 divided by six is seven, and then these zeros all come down because they all hold a place value position to give you 7,000 for your answer. The next one has the same dividend, but a larger divisor. This one has two zeros, and we have enough zeros here, so write 100 divided by six. And as always with your homework, you should be trying this on your own before you just copy from the video. Now I've got four, uh, well it was 420,000, but we're gonna offset the zero, so I have 4200, zero, zero, because it's divided by one, so that's the answer. Divided by six, 42 divided by six is seven, bring down your zeros. Last one here, 420,000 divided by 6,000, so it's 1,000 first, 
then six. Take off the zeros, one, two, three on each side, which leaves you divided by one, which leaves us with 420 divided by six. See, all that's left is that. That gives you your seven and a zero. Okay, so see how the, the answer, the quotient changes depending on the size of your divisor. As it got bigger, our answer got smaller. On the last row, they throw in a few other quick facts. So really watch that 10 and see how many zeros you can remove. 24,000 divided by 30 would be first the 10, then the three. Take off one zero, that leaves you with 2,400 divided by three, which gives you 24 divided by three for eight with the two zeros left over. Next one, lots of zeros. How many zeros can we take out on both sides? So you can take out 100, which is two zeros, then the seven. Take off two here, two here. That leaves you with five, six, zero, zero. Try to not get confused by where the comma is. This zero is still available. Divided by seven. 56 divided by seven is eight, and then you have two zeros left. Last one. 450,000. Notice that you have three zeros on 9,000, so take the nine out, but take the thousand out first, offset your zeros, divide 450 by one to get 450, then divide by the nine that's left, 45 divided by nine is five, and your zero comes down for your 50. Okay, so I hope you got that. That was really just identifying that pattern um, so that you could apply the pattern. All right, final questions. A stadium holds 50,000 people. The stadium is divided into 250 different seating sections. How many seats are in each section? So for this one, if you take your new way that you know how to use, you've got your total, which is the dividend, the 50,000 people, and it's divided into the 250 different sections. So if you split it out, we haven't done anything with this yet, but I've got a 10 on each side, so I'm gonna take this out and then just leave the 25 alone. So I wanna simplify as much as I can. Now there's one zero here and one here, so it doesn't help us too much, but it does a little bit. And then I can divide by 25. Now think money, think money. If I have 50 divided by 25, I can get two 25s in each 50. And that leaves us with those last two zeros. Don't get confused about this one. This is part of my dividend for 25. So that means about 200 seats in each section. Okay, there you go. Next one. Over the course of a year, a tractor trailer commutes 160,000 miles across America, my goodness. Assuming a trucker changes his tires every 40,000 miles and that he starts with a brand new set so we don't have to change them at the beginning, how many sets of tires will he use in a year? So you're gonna take your total distance and divide it by the number of miles in each set. Now, Again, looking at how many zeros you can take out, that's quite a lot of zeros. We haven't had the opportunity to take this many out, but now I have one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And so I can take the 160 and divide it by 10,000 and then divide by four. And look at the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that leaves you with 16 divided by one, which is 16 divided by four, which gives you four. So how many sets? Four sets of tires. So it seems like a huge problem, but when you simplify it like that, it's really not too bad. Seems like a good time to say, click subscribe and come back again. I'll try to help you with your math while we focus our problem. Okay. 
If the trucker changes the oil every 10,000 miles and he starts the year with a fresh oil change, how many times will he change the oil in a year? And again, you have to start with the 160,000 because that's how far he's going to go. And you don't have to change the oil at the beginning, but you do have to change it in 10,000 miles. So how many zeros can I pull from each side? Well, I've got the four again. So it's already divided by one. So I don't have to rewrite it. I can just go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Well, what are we left with? 16 divided by one, 16 oil changes. Okay, so it's like they made it easy, but then sometimes kids will get confused. It's so hard. Uh, anyway, I hope this is helpful, and I hope you guys get it. it. Long division is really fun, so we'll be getting into it real soon. Come back again. See you on the next video. Bye for now.